Here at Commission Academy, Dale and I have helped countless aspiring entrepreneurs go on to create full-time affiliate marketing incomes online. We've celebrated their first ever commissions, we've cheered them on as they achieved their first 100 email subscribers, and we've toasted them on their first $1,000 days. So it's safe to say, I really believe in affiliate marketing. It works for me, it works for us, and it works for many of our students. Um, but saying that, you know, the word online is that between 75% and 95% of beginner affiliate marketers fail. Now, whatever way you look at that, that is a high failure rate, you know? So what I want to know is if so many people dream about earning online, why do so few actually make it? Why is the failure rate so high? After achieving super affiliate status and coaching and mentoring many of our students, I believe I may be able to offer some insights that's going to help you to avoid these newbie mistakes. So without further ado, here are my top five reasons why I believe affiliate marketers fail. The first reason is not having a clear overall strategy and I think this is probably the biggest reason why most affiliate marketers fail um, because you know what normally happens is you know you decide you want to build an online business you want to create a side hustle or a full-time income to give yourself the financial freedom for you and your family which is great and then you head on over to Google but the problem is there's so many different processes systems and methods and courses out there I mean just take a look at these screenshots from affiliate marketing experts so what do you see? You see you've got 21 tips to do this, 35 techniques to do that. I mean, it's just so much. And then what happens is you end up, you know, taking a course um, on why Pinterest is the only traffic source you ever need to think, worry about. Or maybe there's this brand new keyword research technique that you just have to try. Or maybe someone tries selling you a done for you affiliate system. You know, or maybe someone says launch jacking is the only way to go. And before you know it, you end up like Stretch Armstrong being pulled in all these different directions. It's information overload. You've got all this information, but you don't have a clear overall strategy that you can follow to get results. And that's why at Commission Academy, we created a very clear step-by-step -step crash course, which is totally free, by the way, for beginners just like you. To get you started, it's going to take you through in a systematic step-by-step -step way on how to create a successful and lucrative affiliate marketing business. So if you're wanting a blueprint to follow, a proven roadmap, hit that link in the description and uh, we'll get you on the right track. Okay, so the second reason I believe why a lot of people don't succeed at affiliate marketing is that they just don't have a website. Now we've come across this quite a lot and it's almost like a phobia. When you start talking about creating a website, people get really nervous because they think it's going to be really technical. They think it's going to be super difficult and complex when the reality is it's never been easier to start a website and it's something that we walk our students through in the crash course. Right? You don't need a degree in coding or IT to start a website these days. Um, really, you do want a website because it's like you're building a building on a firm foundation. It's like if you want to if you want a skyscraper of a business or do you want an old wooden shack for business, right? You want a website that's going to give you that firm foundation to build your future online uh, success on. And you know, with a website, it's going to be where you're promoting products, where you're connecting with your audience, where you're drawing and driving traffic. It's where all of the online business happens. It's where all of the generating commissions happens. So you really, really need a website. I mean, think if you don't have a website, how else are you going to do affiliate marketing? Are you going to go out there and pay for email solo ads that don't convert? Are you going to, you know, spam links on, on Facebook and get your account blocked? I don't see that happening. Um, what, else, what else can you do, you know? Um, building a website is the only way to succeed at affiliate marketing if you're serious about building a business in the long term. I think the third reason a lot of people fail at affiliate marketing is that they're in the wrong niche to begin with. So one of the first steps we walk our students through uh, even before they create a website, before they start finding products to promote, is choosing the right niche. And I'll link to the video above um, where I walk you through the simple two-step process on how to find the exact right niche for you. Um, basically, all you want is a niche that you have some kind of level of interest in or passion or something, that, a subject that you can talk about. Um, because that's going to make your life a lot easier in the long run. Because if you're picking the wrong niche or if you're in the wrong niche to begin with, 
then creating content is going to be like pulling teeth. Seriously. It's going to be very, very difficult. If it's not easy to talk about, if you don't have any level of interest, then you know, you're just not going to have the knowledge and the expertise that you need to be successful. So, um, you know, if you've already got a niche, but it's just not working for you, feel free to just start from scratch. I know it's scary, but it might be better off to start again in the niche that you actually like and enjoy talking about than trying to struggle through in a niche you don't enjoy. Uh, I can think of nothing worse. So yeah, uh, you know, if you're really struggling to think of content ideas or you're struggling to make sales or finding products to promote, seriously consider, are you in the right niche? Is it a topic that you're really interested in, something that you love, that you're passionate and that you enjoy talking about? Okay, reason number four why most affiliate marketers fail is that they're not creating the right kind of content. So most affiliate marketers will know that the more content you create, generally the more successful you're going to be, the more money you're going to make. But um, you know, when you're creating content, you want to be targeting keywords for every single piece of content that you create. And a keyword is simply a phrase or question. You can use keyword tools like Jaxi or Mangools to find out how many searches each month a certain phrase or question gets Googled on average each month. Um, so, but not all keywords are created equal. There are certain types of content that you want to target, certain keywords that are going to generate more sales for you than others. So I'll use my wife as an example. She recently started um, a language website all about helping people learn a second language and she promotes online language courses. Now when she first started out, she was creating content, great, helpful, genuinely helpful content. Um, but it, it, she wasn't focusing on the right kind of keywords that are going to generate sales. So to give you an example, um, a bad keyword would be, um, you know, how to say thank you in Japanese, right? Maybe it's got a lot of high search volume, right? Maybe it's a really good content, but that's not going to convert into sales for you. A good type of keyword that, that she could focus in the language niche would be, you know, 10 best Japanese courses, uh, right? That's a good keyword. And the best type of keyword, this is a great keyword, is italki review, right? Italki do online language lessons. So, because we already know someone who is searching for how to say thank you in Japanese is just looking for that quick answer and they're going to bounce off your site. They're not thinking about buying anything, but somebody searching for best online Japanese courses or someone searching for italki review especially, they know what italki is, we know that they're already interested in learning a language and they're already thinking about you know, subscribing to italki. They just want someone to come in and say, yeah, it's a good choice, go for it. So, you know, targeting the right kind of keywords like italki review is really gonna generate more commissions and more sales for you. So, you know, if you're gonna spend three hours creating a piece of content, you might as well spend that, that time uh, creating content that's gonna get you the biggest bang for your buck. So my fifth and final reason why I think a lot of people fail at affiliate marketing is that they simply haven't given it enough time. Like, and I know it's annoying, we've all been there, right? You want affiliate commissions coming in like yesterday, right? You get impatient, you just wanna see results. You're putting in the work and you wanna see results straight away. But a lot of people fail when they get impatient and they don't give their business enough time to grow. And the truth is with affiliate marketing, it does take time. Um, that's really the, the, the barrier, really, because, you know, it doesn't take much money to start affiliate marketing. That's not the barrier to entry. The barrier to entry is can you stick it out long enough to see the results? So I can tell you my experience when I first got started with my first affiliate marketing website was it took me two weeks to make my first ever sale. And that's quite quick. You know, sometimes it might take six, eight weeks. It might take three months. It totally depends. Um, but it took me two weeks to make my first sale. And it took me six months before I was starting to see those commissions coming in regularly. Um, and it took me 12 months to be a, before I could um, quit my full-time job. Right, so that's the time frame for me. And maybe it'll be quicker for you, maybe it'll take longer. It kind of, it all depends on how competitive your niche is, uh, how your schedule, like how much time can you put into this. Somebody who puts in two hours a day is gonna you know, see results quicker than somebody who can just put in 20 minutes a day, for example. And it also depends on your work ethic. Um, but the main thing really is to stick it out. Don't quit when, you, when your website's going through that ghost town phase, as I like to call it, um, just stick with it because you will see results, you know, um, it's just stay on track and you will get there. 
So there you have it. My five biggest reasons why I think a lot of aspiring affiliate marketers fail. But I really want to hear from you on this one. Um, what do you think are the biggest struggles, obstacles, issues that people have to contend with that cause them to fail in affiliate marketing? What have you struggled with yourself? Maybe you're just getting started out or maybe when you were getting started out in the past. Let us know in the comments. Um, and I guess my final point would be this, is that you never fail with affiliate marketing or anything else for that matter if you don't quit. Right? As, as I just said, the, the key is to sticking with it. You know, And we've all made mistakes. You're going to make mistakes when you're starting out. It's completely fine and normal. Um, just because you made a mistake doesn't mean that you fail. You can turn it into a learning opportunity. And if you're learning from it, you're growing, you're getting better right, all the time. So stick with it. Um, you know, I just think of uh, Thomas Edison, the inventor of the light bulb. You know, it took him 1,000 tries to get the light bulb right. Right, he could have quit at the 100th time or the 300th time or the 700th time, can't even say it. Um, but he didn't, he kept going and you should too. Because I know that with the right training and support, like what we give here at Commission Academy, you can absolutely be a huge affiliate marketing success.